Time to play with some clay. Now it's about two o'clock in the morning. A friend of mine, Paul Rafferty, sent me an email and said, why don't you just take the uh, star field that you've got, that's already got the stars on them. It's flat. The stars are raised on it. Why don't you just glue that on the clay? Now, I don't know if that was going to work, but I wanted to try it out and see by tomorrow morning whether it does or doesn't. I found online, I think it's Etsy, that uh, sells the uh, five millimeter stars that I'm looking for. And so I'm going to, I ordered them last night. I don't know if this is gonna work, but he suggested I just glue it to the clay. I think that's a good idea. Now, I'm not certain if this is going to work, but it's worth a try. Seems to be working. That certainly would take care of that problem of having all the stars come out raised. I've got this field here that I can put on the other side and I can just <coughs> glue the stars on it and uh, but I'll tr try that later right now I just want to make sure this is going to work going to put a clamp on the uh, wood so that the uh, piece of paper is glued evenly under pressure. Please don't think I know what I'm doing because I don't. This is the first time I've tried this one. Is either a good idea or a bad one? We'll find out. All right. I'm going to come down later and uh, check this out. Well, later, I mean tomorrow. <laughs> good night, everybody. Or whatever see it in a few hours all right uh, it's been hours since i placed this in here almost 12 hours i know it's longer than i needed but Seems to have worked.
and I can bend it. That's great. No lifting anywhere except that one place right there, which it was easy enough to fix by just pressing it back in. Now, some of the detail on the uh, stripes has been screwed up a little bit, not a lot, but I can fix that very easily. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side of the uh, flag. All right, I put a little uh, bit of uh, parchment down between the... Uh, piece of paper I glued. <coughs> a little glue had seeped out from underneath the bottom edge and this just, you know, keeps me from having this stick to whatever because it will glue it uh, to that if I'm not careful. I've got everything lined up and uh, the pressure's on and uh, I'll add stars to this field of blue uh, when I get uh, the stars in the mail. I ordered a whole bunch of them from Etsy, uh, a website, uh, like I said before, that uh, sells those type of things. And uh, that's going to do it for now, and I'll be back in a couple hours. Well, it's a couple hours later. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, it turned out, and uh, yeah, I can bend the uh, paper so that it doesn't come loose. There's no edges lifting up, so I give this a positive thumbs up on this one. I'm going to take a an alcohol wipe for you know that you could use to clean your glasses with, and I'm just going to clean the surface because I got to still glue um, a bunch of stars on here. Now I would go ahead and start putting the stars I've got on here but I'm not sure the same kind of stars that I'll be getting in about another well next week uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday from Etsy. But I'm going to put this flag aside work on the horse a little bit today and uh, just clean this up a little bit and cl clean up the uh, hard glue on the edge all right that's it with the flag now let's move on to the horse Now it's just a matter of cleaning up those areas that need to be cleaned up. Okay, the one thing I found out from the foundry is they'd rather not have anything that would cause a mold, the rubber latex mold, 
to snag. And by putting this feather, the feathers up here attached to his neck, uh, it gave that opportunity. So I'm taking them off. I'm still going to use them, but they're just going to be so they can make a mold of the uh, feathers separately. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do today is just smoothing out the areas I just hit with a little ronce and all. Lighter fluid. I'll pick this up next week. Um, I want to give the fetlocks on the horse a furry look like a, a lot of Mustangs had. Just adds a little bit more to the uh, dynamic properties of the uh, horse. I think I've come up with a different title for this piece. Instead of capturing Custer's flag, I'm thinking of calling it uh, War Medicine, because that flag would have been War Medicine. So that's going to be it for this week. I'm running out of really things to do. I think I'll work on the hair texture just a little bit next week. And uh, whatever else hits me fancy. Hope you all have a safe Memorial Day weekend. And I uh, hope to see you all next week. So till next time, good night everybody. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later everybody, good night.